This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. In this video, we look at the divisibility rules for the numbers 1 through 10 and a general method for tackling divisibility rules for even larger numbers. First, let's define divisibility. A number A is divisible by another number B if the remainder is 0 when A is divided by B. Let's take a look at the divisibility rule for 1. Divisibility by 1. Any and all integers are divisible by the number 1. Just remember, integers are numbers that aren't fractions. If you want to know more about them, you can check out our classification of numbers video. Let's now look at the divisibility rule for 2. Divisibility by 2. A number is only divisible by 2 when the last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. For example, 126 is divisible by 2 because the last digit is 6, which is even. But 4,443 is not divisible by 2 because the last digit is 3, which is not divisible by 2. Let's now look at the divisibility rule for 3. A number is divisible by the number 3 if the sum of the digits of the number are also divisible by 3. We can also repeat this rule if needed. Testing divisibility by the number 1, 2, and 3. See if this number is divisible by 1, 2, or 3. Pause the video for more time on this question. Since this number is an integer and not a fraction, it is divisible by the number 1. To check divisibility by 2, we look at the last digit. Since it is even, 6, this number is divisible by 2. To check for divisibility by 3, we add up the digits to get 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6, which gives us 57. We can apply this rule again to make it easier for us. 5 plus 7 gives us 12, which is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. Finally, this number is divisible by 1, 2, and 3. Now, let's take a look at the divisibility rule for 4. For a number to be divisible by 4, the number obtained by the last two digits of the number must also be divisible by 4. Here's an example. The number 3849224 is divisible by 4 because the number 24 is. Let's now look at the divisibility rule for 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 0 or a 5. Let's now take a look at the divisibility rule for 6. To find if a number is divisible by an integer k, we have to make sure that the number is divisible by each of the factors in the prime factorization of k. For example, let's check divisibility by 12. The prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. For a number to be divisible by 12, the number must be divisible by the highest power of each prime factor that appears in the prime factorization. Thus, a number is divisible by 12 only if it is divisible by 2 squared and 3, or if the number is divisible by both 4 and 3. Divisibility by 6. Since 6 is equal to 2 times 3, following the rule just mentioned, a number is divisible by 6 only if it is divisible by both 2 and the number 3. Let's now look at the divisibility rule for the number 7. The divisibility rule for 7. We just double the last digit and subtract it from a number made by the other digits. The result must be divisible by 7. Check if this number is divisible by 7. 672. Pause the video if you want more time on this question.
Applying the divisibility rule for 7, we get that 2 times 2 is 4, and 67 minus 4 gives us 63. Now applying this rule again, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. 0 is divisible by 7, so 672 is divisible by 7. Here's the divisibility rule for 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits form a number that is divisible by 8. Let's look at an example of this in action. 9230816 Let's check if this is divisible by 8. We take the number obtained by the last 3 digits and check if it is divisible by 8. That number is 816. 816 divided by 8 gives us 102 with a remainder of 0. Thus, this number is divisible by 8. Here's the divisibility rule for 9. Divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. This rule can be repeated if needed. For example, 1629. We add 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9 to get 7 plus 11, which gives us 18. Now applying this rule again on 18, we get 1 plus 8, which gives us 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. Here's the divisibility rule for 10. Divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit of the number is equal to 0. Check whether this number is divisible by each of the numbers from 1 to 10, 2520. Pause the video if you want more time to solve this question on your own. Since 2520 is an integer, it is divisible by 1. Since the last digit is 0, it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. The last two digits are 20. Since 20 is divisible by 4, this makes 2520 divisible by 4. And similarly, the last three digits, 520, are divisible by 8, making this number divisible by 8. The sum of the digits is 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 0, or 9, making it divisible by 3 and 9. Finally, let's check for divisibility by 7. We get 25 minus 4, which gives us 21, which makes it divisible by 7. Since the number is divisible by 2 and 3, it is divisible by 6. Thus, 2520 is divisible by all the integers from 1 to 10 inclusive. Find all the factors from 1 to 10 of the number 1260. Write your answers in the comments below to check if you were correct. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video or learned anything from it, let me know by subscribing or commenting below. For more awesome content, check out thepuzzler.com. You'll find amazing articles and free courses there. Thank you.